Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Mastin and I'm so excited to have you here. If you're new here, make sure you guys look around, see if there's something that keeps you around and click that subscribe button. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a live flip through of the Good and the Beautiful's newest science curriculum. Now we have been using the first version of the science curriculum, which is for preschool to second grade and we have absolutely loved it. I have a almost three-year-old and a seven-year-old who will be eight in September, and I've been using this science curriculum for the both of them. So I love that this is geared towards such a, you know, wide age group so that I can use it for both of my children. So for those that aren't familiar with the science for little hearts and hands, this is the first version, which is the fields and flowers. And this is what we've been working through um, since the fall of last year. Um, we do one lesson per week, so it's typically on Fridays, and I absolutely love it. So now the newest version is wind and waves, and you guys, this curriculum is seriously amazing. Now, what I love most about this is this does give young learners an introduction into the world of science and studying God's creation. So it's so amazing how they've designed these curriculum. They are full color illustrations. Like these stories are absolutely beautiful pictures. Um, I love the teacher's guide. It also has, the new version has audio narrations and amazing stories. Like my daughter absolutely loves when we get to read the science stories. My son, because this one comes with videos, my son loves the videos for these. So um, we're super excited to hear the audio narrations for this version. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in with you guys. So going off of my experience with using the field and the flowers, I assume this is going to be the same way because I have browsed through and it's laid out very similar. So I'm speaking from experience. But this is the parent guide. I absolutely loved using the first version, so I'm super excited to use the second. This is just the most simple, laid out, like such low prep work activities. So perfect for a busy homeschooling mom like myself. I love to find curriculums that are those low prep because I just feel like we're in a very busy season of our life right now. So um, it's very helpful to have, you know, these open and go books where, you know, there's not a ton of prep work required. So as you can see here, the first page you open up to is the table of contents. There are 30 different lessons in here and I'll just give you a few of the different ones. Lightning and thunder, um, coral reefs, zones of the ocean, sharks, dolphins, what is a marine biologist, um, what is a meteorologist, weather forecasting, temperature, the water cycle, clouds, so many amazing topics in here. I cannot wait to dive in. And as you go into the book, there's, you know, about this course in a lesson overview. So it just kind of breaks down what exactly you're going to be seeing in the lessons, whether it is through the book, uh, big book of science stories or the audio narrations and how you can access them with the password uh, activities. And you will gain access to those upon purchasing. So there's a website and then you'll have the password to access those audio narrations through the good and the beautiful. There's the um, frequently asked questions and then activity supplies. So you know right off the, um, you know, right off the start that in lesson one, you're gonna need, you know, paper, markers, and a device to look up weather. Okay, so these are all optional activities, but for the most part, they were super simple in the first version. So we typically have always done the activity also. Um, so I just like that, you know, right off the um, start that the activities you know, require some supplies. And a lot of them are supplies that you have on hand at home, so that makes it super helpful. So now, jumping into lesson one, what is a meteorologist? There is the opening, so what you'll read to your child, and then there's story time. Well, your stories come right here from the science book, um, the big book of science stories. So I love this. They are packed full of color. I will show you this in a second. Um, and then there's the discussion questions. I love this because this really engages my seven-year-old. Obviously, my son kind of, you know, loses um, but he's two, so he loses interest at this point, but he still sits there with us and he typically does do a really good job just listening. And then 
um, you know, I always tell him like, okay, if you want to do the activity, you know, you need to sit here with us. So he does typically sit there because then we do a fun activity, which like I said, these are optional activities, but they are so much fun. And I just feel like it really adds something to the lesson. So each lesson is laid out very similar, just like that. And at the top, like I said, again, you will see where the supplies needed are there as well. So you're never like jumping into a lesson and then realizing like, oh my goodness, I don't, you know, I'm not prepared. I also love, and I feel like this is something new that they've added experiment time. So the experiment time is just so the kids can see, you know, more of a hands-on version like weather forecasting is that one. So with this course, you get the full color parent guide, the big book of science stories, and then the lesson audio narrations, which can be accessed um, through the good and the beautiful. So now hopping into our science stories here, I, like I said, have loved sharing the field and flowers with my daughter. They are packed full of color here. So again, you have your table of contents, beautiful pictures. Like I cannot rave enough about the quality of these books, the color of these books, like just great quality. So these are the science stories and not every lesson has a science story but a good amount of them do so so there we go okay so jumping into one of the first questions that i'm sure will pop up is how long do these lessons take honestly the lessons vary in time you can open and go that's you know how this is designed and you could do one lesson a day you could do one lesson a week you could do more than that i really honestly believe it just depends on your child but I love this like I love because we do fun Fridays I love incorporating this into our Friday because it is so much fun and the kids are so interested in learning about it so I may change things up where I add a few more lessons in the fall but as of right now we've been doing like I said the field and flowers version and we've been doing one lesson a week and my kids really look forward to that okay and then moving on to the next question how much prep work is required for this science curriculum um, like I said before, there really is not a ton of prep work. That's why I absolutely love it. It is designed to be an open and go course lesson. Um, the only prep work is for those optional activities and experiments, and then also having access to the Good and the Beautiful app for those audio narrations. Obviously, this is, you know, designed to be, you know, easy for you guys to kind of just implement it however you know fits your homeschool so for us um, I know we did do the activities because they were a low amount of prep work a lot of the activities we've had on hand during these lessons so I I coming from personal experience I should say I feel like the prep work is very minimal so that was one thing that I absolutely loved about this science curriculum because like I said, we are in that busy season. And now the last question, because this was one I personally had before starting Field and Flowers, was is this gonna be a good fit for your homeschool? Is this going to be appropriate for your child? Or, you know, like, will they be interested in it? Or will it engage them in ways that you want it to? And honestly, you guys, I can only speak from personal experience from using the first version and I don't know about y'all, but we are over here in summer mode and I'm so excited to just take a break from Field and Flowers because we will pick this back up in the fall, but we're gonna dive into the Wind and Waves version because it is summer and there's so many things happening where my daughter has a ton of questions, you know, on various topics. So I love that these are simple topics. I love that everything is just minimal prep and I will always choose our snuggles over Goodreads over like, you know, a complex curriculum any day. So I love that this engages both of my children. I love that we can snuggle up with the blanket on the couch and read through the big book of science stories and it keeps my son engaged. So to me, that is a huge win. And then, like I said, the um, activities in the experiments. I just am looking forward to a summer of fun with them using this. So 
If you guys have questions, you can always shoot me a question in the comments of this video. I'm also over on Instagram if you wanna shoot me a message over there. I do tend to share a lot more over there of our day to day, so if you're not following me over on Instagram, make sure you do so. I'd love to connect further with you guys, but any questions at all, I am here. I'm going to take you guys through now just a flip through and let you guys see for yourself and make that decision. Is this going to be a good fit for your homeschool? Okay, so due to copyright reasons, I can't take you through the entire book, but I will show you guys a little flip through here of the science story so you guys can see the color packed pages and just amazing stories. Like I said, this is definitely my daughter's favorite part of this curriculum because they are so fun and we just curl up on the couch, read the stories. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, like I said before, make sure you leave it in the comments and I hope that it will be a great addition to your homeschool if you do choose to purchase this. I will post a link in the description so you guys can um, go check it out on their website. But again, like I said, if you guys have questions, I am an open book over here, so I will tell you. And I don't typically share anything that hasn't worked for us. I will be, I will never bash a company, but I will never, you know, guide you guys or sway you um, just for, you know, for you guys to purchase things. I truly want to, you know, experience everything before I share it. And I did do the first version and I have been using it. And so that's why I am, you know, so eager to share this new version with you guys because it has been a great um, addition to our homeschool. And if you are a seasoned homeschooling mom, you know there's a lot of trial and error. I have had to switch curriculums. We are so happy with the good and the beautiful. It truly has changed our homeschool entirely. So I, um, I just feel like I wanted to share that with you guys. I also wanted to add, just stay tuned because I am going to be doing a bigger unboxing of our fall curriculum haul through the good and the beautiful. So I wanted to share that with y'all. So that's gonna be in a later video. So if you want to stick around and see these things, make sure you guys click that subscribe button. And if this video was helpful, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and maybe share it with a friend. So I wanna end this video today and thank you guys for being here. Thank you for subscribing and I can't wait to connect further with you guys. I hope you guys all have a blessed week.